Okay, I set this up to get the bearing out of the transaxle. It's down inside there. It's where the end of the uh, counter put shaft goes, the forward end of the counter put shaft. Uh, and uh, I didn't have to heat that up. The bearing's coming up pretty easy. And the bearing number is DB501901. And it's an NSK bearing with the TORR. So basically, I tighten this nut and it's slowly pulling it out. Uh, P.S. Don't forget that there's not much thread in here, so you can only go so far before you have to back it off and put a shim in there, take a pull the bearing a little further. I made the mistake of uh, forgetting about that and pretty much toasted the bearing. Well, I got that bearing in, and what it is, I took this two-wheel drive drive shaft, put a washer on the end of it, and, and then I heated the aluminum housing up with my propane torch, and then I just kind of tapped it with a rubber mallet and drove it down. It went down really nice. But removing it was a problem. I busted the old one up. You can see the pieces of it there. If I use this gadget here, and it works fine. I was using it with a screw, but there isn't enough thread in there to pull it all the way out, and I forgot about that, so I kept turning it, and it, it twisted, tried to twist the bearing in the hole, and that kind of wrecked the bearing, but I got to modify this thing so I have a longer thread and this is designed to use with a slide hammer but when the bearings are in there really tight slide hammer has got a possibility of damaging the bearing also so anyway I'll probably drop that down a little further than need to be I've looked at other housings and it was it was flush with the top rather than down with the bevel, but shouldn't make any difference. Also, I dipped my finger in some gear oil and worked it into that bearing. I let some drip down on the uh, pinion bearing too. Good idea to do that because that bearing didn't come pre-lubed, so needs some lube on it. Yeah, this is the what they call the transaxle housing. This, this would be the bell housing. This is where the throwout bearing and the clutch operates. Differential is inside there. You need to put a seal in here. This is what the seal looks like that goes in here. And it's only supposed to be driven down to a certain point. Um, there's this bevel right here. And the bottom edge of the bevel is as deep as it should go. For installing it, I made this out of uh, some ABS pipe. Um, the diameter, this is galvanized pipe here, and the diameter is about 1.88 OD. And I slipped it in there, and it sticks out about 0.33 inches. That way I can set the uh, that lip right there goes on the inside of and I can use that to hammer that down but before you hammer it I recommend that you put a little tissue in here to keep any debris from falling in there from that might break off from this ABS stuff here so I'll very carefully tap all around this and keep an eye out so it goes down evenly until it bottoms out Okay, I wrapped this down by going around and around it with my eye down at the level so I could see eye level where I could see the gap and make sure it goes down evenly. And then you can tell by the sound when you bottom out the tone changes. Make sure it, all the taps all the way around have the same bottoming out tone. And you can take that thing off.
yeah that shop vac comes in handy getting that little bit of debris out of there now before I install or this in a car I like to work some grease in underneath here there's a spring that runs around the back side of the lip that holds the tension on these and if you grease up that spring really good when you're inserting the uh, shaft you kind of got to pop them in and I've had that spring pop out so if you put the grease back there and pack it in behind here it'll all help lubricate the seal and hold that spring in when you're popping the, the shafts in there's an o-ring that goes here and I, I guess you can buy them maybe from the dealer Toyota dealer I don't know I can't remember it seems to me they were discontinued and you can't get them anymore but you can buy a, a two and an eighth you can buy a two and an eighth diameter o-ring that's three thirty seconds thick that'll go in there if you choose to do it. it seems to me it sticks up just a little too high I don't know um, I usually prefer as long as this protrudes up a little bit it should still seal and if you put a little gasket compound on it before you put it together I would think it would be fine 